I. This presentation describes what is permacovigilis which can help pharma and medical students. So, pharmacovigilance word came from pharmacon and vigilare. Pharmacon is a Greek word for drug. Vigilare is a Latin word for to keep watch. What is pharmacovigilance? Pharmacovigilance, PV, is defined as the science and activities relating to the detection, assessment, understanding, and prevention of adverse effects or any other drug-related problem. Why do we need pharmacovigilance? Before drugs become available to the patients, they are subjected to rigorous clinical studies. During the pre-marketing phase the safety profile is incompletely known because data come from a controlled environment and only a limited number of patients is included in clinical studies. However, some adverse drug reactions, ADRs, are often detected only after marketing. Definitions commonly used in pharmacovigilance Adverse event, an adverse event, AE is any untoward medical occurrence in a patient or clinical investigation subject administered a pharmaceutical product and which does not necessarily have a causal relationship with this treatment. Adverse reaction, in pharmacology, any unexpected or dangerous reaction to a drug. An unwanted effect caused by the administration of a drug. The onset of the adverse reaction may be sudden or develop over time. Also called an adverse drug event, ADE, adverse drug reaction, ADR. Individual Case Safety Report, ICSR. An individual case is the information provided to describe any pharmacovigilance data related to the administration of one or more drugs to an individual patient. An ICSR is a document providing the most complete information related to an individual case available at a certain point of time. This includes also reporting of ADRs not only in normal conditions of use, but also from uses outside terms of marketing authorization, misuse and abuse, medication error, overdose, occupational exposure, overdose. This refers to the administration of a quantity of a medicinal product given per administration or per day, which is above the maximal recommended dose according to the authorized product information. This shall also take into account cumulative effects due to overdose. Misuse This refers to situations where the medicinal product is intentionally and inappropriately used not in accordance with the prescribed or authorized dose, route of administration, and slash or the indication, s, or within the legal status of its supply, e.g. without prescription for medicinal products subjects to medical prescription. Abuse as defined in Article 1 of Directive 2001-83-EC, this relates to the sporadic or persistent, intentional excessive use of a medicinal product, which is accompanied by harmful physical or psychological effects. Medication error This refers to any unintentional error in the prescribing, dispensing, or administration of a medicinal product while in the control of the healthcare professional, patient or consumer. Occupational exposure This corresponds to the exposure to a medicinal product for human use as a result of one's occupation. Types of ADRs Type A, Augmented Pharmacologic Effects, Dose Dependent and Predictable Type B, bizarre effects, dose independent and unpredictable. Type C, chronic effects. Type D, delayed effects. Type E, end of treatment effects. Type F, failure of therapy. Type G, genetic reactions. Source of ICSRs. There are two types of sources of ICSRs. 1. Unsolicited sources, which includes Spontaneous reports provided by healthcare professionals or medically qualified persons such as physicians, dentists, pharmacists, nurses and coroners. Literature reports which includes cases of ADRs from the scientific and medical literature, including relevant published abstracts from meetings and draft manuscripts. Internet, such as website 
email etc. Regulatory authorities. Consumers or patients. Two solicited reports. Solicited reports are those derived from organized data collection systems, which include clinical trials, registries, post-approval named patient use programs, other patient support and disease management programs, surveys of patients or healthcare providers, or information gathering on efficacy or patient compliance. Adverse event reports obtained from any of these should not be considered spontaneous. Valid Individual Case Safety Report Adverse event, A, reporting involves the receipt, triage, data entering, assessment, distribution, reporting, if appropriate, and archiving of AE data and documentation. One of the fundamental principles of adverse event reporting is the determination of what constitutes an individual case safety report, ICSR. During the triage phase of a potential adverse event report, it is important to determine if the four elements of a valid ICSR are present. An identifiable patient. An identifiable reporter. A suspect drug, and. An adverse event. If one or more of these four elements is missing, the case is not a valid ICSR. ICSR contains one or multiple AE-ADRs in it. What are the seriousness criteria for AE? An AE or ADRs in an ICSR can be serious or non-serious. An adverse event is considered serious if it meets one or more of the following criteria. Results in death, or is life-threatening which specifically refers to an adverse event that places the patient at an immediate risk of death, such as cardiac or respiratory arrest. Requires inpatient hospitalization or prolongation of existing hospitalization. Results in persistent or significant disability or incapacity. Results in a congenital anomaly, birth defect, or is otherwise medically significant i.e., that it does not meet preceding criteria, but is considered serious because treatment slash intervention would be required to prevent one of the preceding criteria. What is expected or labeled or listed event? The expectedness or labeledness or listedness are determined for the purpose of expedited reporting of ICSRs. Listedness or labeling or expectedness means is the adverse event or side effect expected or has it been previously documented as an side effect with the use of the drug as per the RSI, Reference Safety Information. RSI here means the CCDS, Company Core Data Sheet, SMPC, Summary of Product Characters TICS, USPI, United States Prescribing Information, JP. Japanese Prescribing Information, CM, Canadian Monographs, NIB, Investigators Brochure, or any local label. What should be reported? Serious ADRs. Cases of adverse drug reactions that are both serious and unexpected are subject to expedited reporting. The reporting of serious expected reactions in an expedited manner varies among countries. Non-serious adverse reactions, whether expected or not, would normally not be subject to expedited reporting. What will qualify as ADRs? Only case with related causalities are eligible for expedited reporting. For reports from studies and other solicited sources, all cases judged by either the reporting healthcare professional or the mayor as having a possible causal relationship to the medicinal product would qualify as ADRs. For purposes of reporting, spontaneous reports associated with approved drugs imply a suspected causal relationship would qualify as ADRs. Other observations. In addition to single case reports, any safety information from other observations that could change the risk-benefit evaluation for the product should be communicated as soon as possible to the regulatory authorities in accordance with local regulation. Examples include any significant unanticipated safety findings from an in vitro, animal, epidemiological, or clinical study that suggest a significant human risk, 
such as evidence of mutagenicity, teratogenicity, carcinogenicity, or lack of efficacy with a drug used in treating a life-threatening or serious disease. Lack of efficacy Evidence of lack of efficacy should not normally be expedited, but should be discussed in the relevant periodic safety update report. However, in certain circumstances and in some regions, Individual reports of lack of efficacy are considered subject to expedited reporting. Medicinal products used for the treatment of life-threatening or serious diseases, vaccines, and contraceptives are examples of classes of medicinal products where lack of efficacy should be considered for expedited reporting. Overdose Reports of overdose with no associated adverse outcome should not be reported as adverse reactions. Cases associated with serious adverse reactions are considered subject to expedited reporting, unless otherwise specified by local regulation. Reporting Time Frames In general, expedited reporting of serious and unexpected ADRs is required as soon as possible, but in no case later than 15 calendar days of initial receipt of the information by the MAH. Time frames for other types of serious reports vary among countries, depending on source, expectedness, and outcome. The regulatory reporting time clock is considered to start on the date when any personnel of the mayor first receive a case report that fulfills minimum criteria as well as the criteria for expedited reporting. In general, this date should be considered day zero. Non-serious ADRs Cases of non-serious ADRs, whether expected or not, would not normally be considered reportable on an expedited basis. Non-serious ADRs should be included in the Periodic Safety Update Report according to the ICHE2C guideline. Follow-up information Additional follow-up information is actively sought and submitted within 15 calendar days after obtaining the new information. Active Moiety Rule Reports of foreign serious unexpected adverse reactions shall be submitted for the products that have the same active moiety as a product marketed in the country of incidence. This is true even if the excipients, dosage form, strength, route of administration and indication vary. Only case with related causal association with the drug are eligible for expedited reporting. Serious unexpected related cases should be reported in 15 calendar days. Serious expected cases need not to be reported. Serious death or life-threatening unexpected related cases needs to be reported in 7 calendar days. Serious death or life-threatening expected case do not require reporting. Other serious, unexpected, and related cases should also be reported in 15 calendar days. Other serious events expected cases not to be reported. For non-serious no reporting is required. Aggregate reports for clinical trials. Developmental safety reports, DSUR. The DSUR is a common standard for periodic reporting on drugs under development, including marketed drugs that are under further study. The DSUR is the pre-marketing equivalent of the post-marketing periodic safety update report, PSUR. It covers drugs, biological, vaccines and combo products. The Development International Birth Date, DIBD. Determine the start of the annual period for the DSUR. This date is the sponsor's first authorization to conduct clinical trial in any country worldwide. DIBD as the starting date of the reporting period. The data lock point, DLP, of the DSUR is the last day of the one-year reporting period from the anniversary date that the IND investigational new drug went into effect. DSUR submitted to be submitted to FDA no later than 60 calendar days after the DSUR DLP. Aggregate reports for post-marketing. Periodic safety update report. PSUR is a document that marketing authorization holders submit to regulatory authority to evaluate medicinal products safety data for a particular interval of time. PBRER, Periodic Benefit Risk Evaluation Report, 
are referred to as PSUR since implementation in Europe via GVP Module 7. PSUR must be prepared at the following intervals. Immediately upon request. Every six months from authorization until product placed on the market. Every six months for first two years on the market. Annually for the next two years. Thereafter every three years. Submit. By day 70 for intervals up to 12 months. By day 90 for intervals in excess of 12 months. Periodic Adverse Drug Experience Report, PUDER. PUDER is required in U.S. by U.S. Food and Drug Administrations, FDA. Contains. Summary and analysis of 15-day reports submitted during reporting period. Table of Frequency of Adverse Events During Reporting Period Organized by Body Systems MedWatch forms of the cases which have not been submitted as 15-day reports. Action taken for safety reasons since the last reporting period. Submitted. Quarterly during the first three years. Annual reports thereafter. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please subscribe to my channel for more such presentations.